In this video tip of the week, we're going to explore Google's proximity operator, which allows us to have more control over the relationship between our search terms. I've done a basic Boolean search here for Thomas Jefferson and Secretary of State, two concepts, and I'm using the default and operator, so they can be appear anywhere in the document. And the, the results are not bad. I, I can go through this results page, and I'm sure I can find the information that I'm looking for. However, if I want a bit more control over how far apart my search terms uh, should appear in the document, I can use the proximity operator around to indicate that I want, in this case, no more than three words between the two concepts, Thomas Jefferson and Secretary of State. In effect, I'm saying I want them in the same sentence. You can see the results page is a lot different than the first one, and I'm probably going to find more information exactly answering the question that I'm uh, interested in, which is Thomas Jefferson's role as the first Secretary of State. So around allows me to be a bit more precise about where my search terms appear. Now there are times when you, you really don't need to use around uh, where a basic Boolean search would work. In this case, I search for U.S. trade, uh, U.S. and trade and Japan, and you can look at the first hit there from the Census Bureau. It's data for several years, and that that answers my query right away. So there's no reason for me to go uh, and use the proximity operator. So this is a whole part of uh, search being an, an art. Uh, there are times when you you want to use the around operator. And it, and it works quite well, and there are times when perhaps you don't need to do that. But the around operator, it's nice to know that it exists, and you can use it to refine your search queries.